guys and welcome back. Happy to be here on a Wednesday back in the office solving puzzles as usual. Today we're looking at the Hales Lock 5 puzzle known as Firestarter. Designed by Shane Hales, this guy makes like a lock a year. This is number five, apparently the hardest one of them all. Pretty as well. Also looks like a bit of a weapon. You could probably <clears throat> knock someone out with it real quick. Made in Italy uh, of steel and nickel plated and pretty. It's not, a, it's not an average lock. It doesn't look like your average lock, which is what intrigued me normally. I like the fact that locks look normal in the puzzle, but this one just looks extraordinary. Not sure what you would use this to lock. Like, what would you lock with this? Maybe, uh, what would you use this to lock for? There you go. Comment below. Anyways, guys, let's just get right into it. Solving the Hales Lock 5 Firestarter Lock Puzzle. Let's go. Hales Lock 5 Firestarter. Here we go. Oh. You thought I'd forget. So, um, oh, there was a, there was a, there was a bag that came with this. Hold on. So if, if the creator put this in the bag, then it must be very important. Designed by Shane Hales, production, Shane Hales. Objective one, open the lock to retrieve the ring. Sounds simple. And I think you, I believe you have to find his signature as well. No random movements. The lock will open very smoothly. Find the elegant solution. No force, no banging, no hitting. And here's a hint. Use the shape of the lock to solve. Use the shape of the lock to solve. Use the shape of the lock to solve. So you've got this rubber hatch and here we've got like a little protector for uh, this turn. Yeah. So you've got a keyhole in there and then you've got this, which I guess you gotta line up with that keyhole. Maybe it's like a lighter and you just gotta, huh? Worth a shot. Oh, hello. We might have just discovered something <laughs> by accident by doing this. <sighs> I might be way ahead, boys and girls. Look at this, a little hole right there. Bang. You see, this is why, this is why, this is why I do what I do. All right, that's, let's just get that out of the way. So, you've got this as well, which is like a little groove. I'm wondering if there's like something in here that would line up that would allow me to you know what I mean? Like pop it open like this. All right, so first things first, we gotta get this out of uh, out of this lock here. So this has a clasp. I'm guessing I can get the key out of that clasp. Yep, all right, key's out. And what a surprise, the key does not fit. Oh wait, maybe this goes on the other side here. Other way. There's that hole here, it doesn't fit in there either. Okay, so this part here seems to be attached to uh, the cylinder here. So my guess is this cylinder has to be retrieved. What does it say? Use the shape of the lock to solve. Use the shape of the lock. Okay, the shape is a cylinder. Use the shape of the lock to solve. What do you guys think? What, uh, what does that mean? And this is a weird key, by the way, look at the Look at the edge of that key, how weird that is. That is a strange looking key. So no banging, no, no what? No hitting, no force, no banging. Use the shape of the lock. And it's called fire starter. Is it like a flint type thing? Does this rotate? Oh, that turns. Okay. So maybe this unscrews. This is cool. This is supposed to be a sequential discovery, which means there's like hidden tools and stuff, which I think that's what that's for. It's probably a hidden tool to get to, to get the pin in there. This also pops out just a little bit. This here pops out just a little bit, just enough for me not to grab it. Use the shape of the lock to solve it. Are there any seams? Nope, no seams. Just this that rotates. Trying to like unscrew my fat fingers can't get in there. That ring doesn't come out. Hmm. Huh? There you go. I don't know what that does. Try to get creative here, folks. Let me know if you have any ideas, by the way. Is that like the model number here? Use the shape of the lock. Use the shape of the lock to solve. 
I mean, the shape of the lock is shaped like this. How does that help? What? I don't understand what they're asking of me. Use the shape of the lock. Oh, maybe I have to roll it. Oh, that's a glass table. Let's see how that helps me. Trying to push down on this thing in different, trying to orient this hole in different ways and try to push down on it. <clears throat> really throwing me for a loop here. The no banging and hitting this is really killing me because all I want to do is like. That's what I really want to do. It's kind of satisfying, but it doesn't get me anywhere. I'm kind of at a loss here. No force. Hint, use the shape of the lock to solve, and it's called fire starter. Use the shape of the lock to solve. Only thing that I can think of is like rolling it, but because of this ring, it's kind of hindering that. So do I need to remove the ring before I roll it to solve it? Is there any internal? So there is an internal mechanism here because I'm holding all the moving parts down. It's still making noise when I shake it. Doesn't say no shaking. So there seems to be, I'm gonna hold this up to my face now because I can't properly see from this angle, but there, you can see in there, there seems to be like a pin stopping the key from going in. You see this? So I gotta get that pin out of the way. The pin's inside the keyhole. You can kind of see a little reflection of it there, but it's kind of blocking. So, oh yeah. Oh my God, okay. I just simply rolled it around in my hands, kind of like rolling it because it's a cylinder and the pin looks like it fell all the way through. And now it's back, hold on. I keep rolling it around. I'm halfway in, oh, it turned. Okay, here we go. <gasps> Boom. Okay, so there is a pin on the top here. By rotating it, one pin would fall, but the other one would come through. So it was like a, almost like a half rotation that I had to do. Uh, now that I've done that, this comes up and there is a pin that comes out of here. And now you've guessed it, that little rubber thing is, uh, that little rubber thing concealing that pinhole, which was here. So there's a bit of a spring resistance here. And there we go. Why is this all loose and weird? Look at this mechanism. Oh wow, that bead that's right there. And we still have those pins blocking the top part. This is so weird. So you've got this and that's, okay. So this here, this little brass pin is pushed in uh, through that other pin hole uh, through there, right? So that gets pushed in. However, this bead as well, when the key is turned, uh, gets pushed in and out. But that can only be done if the pin here isn't, uh, isn't aligned, so. Like right now, you can maybe, if I move this, you might be able to see through it. You can see through it here. And so there is a pin stopping. And if I just rotate this to a certain angle, right there, oh, see so it came back. It's like very tricky. I have to do this off camera because I can't. I'll get my head down here, hold on. Let me see if I can do this again. How do I get that sphere back in there? There we go, we're all the way in. Oh, 
Hmm. Oh, and there's a signature, by the way. So that's not gonna, is that gonna go in? Wait, that's not gonna fit in. I gotta get that sphere out of the way. A little ball bearing. Okay, so weird. This is like, this piece is like loose. It's not locking or unlocking anymore though. That's the thing. It's just, it's fitting in, but the key isn't turning. I don't get it. I'm stuck here. By the way, we're at 24 minutes now. We've retrieved everything. We found everything except for, does this have to go back in here? In order for that to undo? No. Weird. There's a weird thing happening right now. Fire starter, fire starter. Like that's not gonna fit through because that bead. Okay. So this cylinder here looks like it goes like in and out a notch here, just like this. All right. I don't know why. Give me a sec, I'm gonna take this up to my head. Okay, if I, if I turn this, I feel the sphere moving as well. And this as well gets pulled out just a little bit, revealing like these little holes and these little pockets here. And it also turns the bottom of the lock. Oh, okay, maybe I gotta push that thing in all the way. Right, okay. Here's my hypothesis. This always has to protrude. However, I think I have to push it in, turn the key in order for that sphere to fall in a certain hole, rotate the key completely so that this thing pops out again, but this time the sphere is in the hole. The problem is the key will not rotate once I... I feel that sphere moving. Now, hands are starting to hurt. Kind of looks like a fire starter when you think about it. Almost like a, like one of those barbecue lighters, which is, I guess, why it wasn't called Zippo or lighter, but fire starter. Maybe that's why they gave it the name. And if that's the case, okay, hold on. If that's the case, usually to do a fire starter, you have to, you have like the, the part that's, you gotta press like the safety in order to, uh, to start it, right? So I was just playing around with this and as I was rotating it, it started to move, but then I lost track of what was happening and it stopped moving. Um, something has to do with this bottom cylinder, which by the way, this is a fire starter. This is what a fire starter looks like. looks way more like this than a barbecue lighter, but hey, don't judge me. So. This is definitely proving more challenging, definitely proving more challenging to put together than it was to take apart. Did I just luck out in, in unlocking it earlier? I don't fully understand the mechanism here and that's the problem. I do now believe that this mechanism here is independent from this because when I'm moving this, this doesn't seem to be affected. So I don't think I need to push that in. in order. I do need to get the sphere in, however. And to do that, I need to turn the key, but the key won't turn now the key's all the way in. There, you can still hear the pins rattling in there. The key is all the way in. This thing goes from the inside to the outside, inside, outside. That's all it does. So these are my moving parts that I have to maneuver. This and orientation. So I'm trying all sorts of different orientations, playing with this cylinder, rotating the cylinder, it doesn't do anything. Or does it? You just have to think practically here. Now I've pushed down this pin just in case and I've kind of lodged it there by twisting the bottom uh, part a little bit so that it won't stop me from doing anything. But then again, I don't think that that, has, that is attached to anything that would stop me. When I adjust the key, the sphere does move. So there's definitely something blocking 
the turning of the key. I thought it might be this. I don't think it is. I think it's something internally. So if it's something internally, it's probably a pin. If it's a pin. No force required, they say. This is kind of the position it was when I unlocked it. It wasn't fully down, I believe. Oh! I just turned it. And it fell through. I had to push the pin down. Get the key halfway in, push the pin down, rotate it, ball went through. Okay, here we go. Let's go. So slowly, we're going to insert, uh, first of all, where's that little tool? That little tool needs to go back in its little place here. Okay. This ring was then, I believe, on the top here. Or on the top here. Come on. Okay. Yes. Yes! Sorry if that was a little bit out of focus. I had to shut the focus off here because it keeps like punching in and out. Uh, there you go. That is the Hales Lock Fire Starter solved in about an hour, give or take. Bam! Let's go! Let's go! Woo! Again, I get a hot! Oh, I hit the camera. Uh, I'm spent. I am spent, thoroughly spent. I don't feel like doing a puzzle anymore. Pretty much exhausted mentally. Uh, getting it apart was not all that difficult. And uh, putting it back together proved exactly three times as difficult. There you have it, there's a life lesson, all right? Things are harder to put together than they are to take apart, I guess. Uh, I didn't find it that difficult to open. I, I kind of understood. I, I do believe I got lucky though, because I'm not 100% sure on the solution here. When, once you open it, there's a, when you push that pin and, and put the key halfway and turn it, I think there's an orientation involved as well. I didn't double check because I didn't want to have to start over again. So I was just very happy that the sphere fell in that little hole, but uh, I'm not exactly sure on the mechanism. And so this is probably one of those things that I'm probably gonna have to solve you know, maybe half a dozen times just sitting around um, to, to, to fully understand how this works. And I like puzzles that are like that because even if you solve it once, you don't really understand it. That's also a life lesson, all right? The more you know. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you're new here, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Rock.